Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we'll be opening the Logitech G502X Plus wireless gaming mouse. So I'm super excited to share this one with you guys. This could potentially be one of the best gaming mice currently in the market. So here's the box. You can tell even the box looks nice. And there's the mouse. Let's check out the presentation. Oh wow, this weighs 106 grams and it feels ridiculously light. So here in this tray, we have the receiver and this swappable piece for the sniper button. And here's the rest of the content. There's a charging cable for the mouse. And this adapter. Let's see what else is in here. So this looks like a user manual. Some sort of guide for your mouse. A big Logitech sticker and some warranty info. So here's the power switch on the bottom of the mouse. Let's turn the mouse on and the LED lights up. There's actually an array of 8 LEDs along this area, with each LED customizable in the Logitech software app. This button here toggles through the DPI. The color cycles through indicating which DPI setting is being used. Now let's check out each side. I have to keep pressing a button to keep the LED on since I haven't set it up in the software app yet. USB-C port for the charging cable. The bottom side has three big Teflon feet along the perimeter and a smaller one in the center. So there's a hatch cover here, secured with magnets. The receiver can be conveniently stored inside. Like many Logitech mice, this has the hyperscroll feature. Good for scrolling through long documents. The wheel itself is quite nice with a rubber texture. The side buttons feel comfortable and are easy to reach. The sniper button can be swapped out. It's just held in with a strong magnet. So here's the other swappable piece. So this piece is basically to remove the sniper button. If it's flush, then it can't be pressed down at all. I'm going to swap the sniper button back in. And this is how the receiver goes in, so just like that. And now it's ready to be taken on the go. So here's the charging cable. It's a pretty basic USB A to C cable. And this is the USB A to C adapter. So this is the idea. When the battery is low, it can be plugged in to be used like a wired mouse. So plug the USB A into the PC. Connect the adapter, then connect the receiver. Now tuck this away, like maybe behind the monitor or somewhere discreet. And use this like a wireless mouse. And when it needs recharging, simply plug the cable directly into the mouse. 
and now it's recharging and can still be used as a wired mouse. The battery life is pretty good. It's rated up to 130 hours without LEDs on and with LEDs on, it's 37 hours. I almost forgot to mention, the mouse uses optical switches as opposed to mechanical switches. So that should lead to faster response times and longevity in the buttons. So there you have it. This is Logitech's current flagship gaming mouse. And so far, I think it lives up to the hype. I'll leave a link below on where this mouse can be found. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.